I'm CM Coleman and welcome to CM Coleman Home. Today we are making baklava. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. This is really easy and all this time I thought it was super, super hard. It's not. Just follow these directions and be careful. All you have to do is just make it. It is ridiculously simple. Now the one thing to remember about this is it uses phyllo dough. We are not, and I repeat, not making our own. I don't even know how. I don't even know if you can. I'm sure you can. Somebody out there probably has the recipe. If you do, leave it for me in the comments because that would be fantastic. But we're going to make our own, and it, this is so, so simple. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with three cups of walnuts. To that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Once that's in there, I'm just going to mix it up. Once that's mixed up, I'm going to sit it off to the side. This is my greased pan. My oven is preheated to 375 degrees. This pan is greased with butter. I repeat, greased with butter. Don't do any imitations. Honestly, grease the pan with butter. Now we have our phyllo dough. I'm going to uncover it. Only pull off what you need. And we need two pieces. Once you have your pieces, Cover that back over with your damp cloth. That's important. Now the easy part. I'm just going to brush it with butter and then place it in my pan. We're going to do six layers of this. And so I found this trick. Take my sheet, place it in the pan, brush it with butter, then top it with the next sheet. We're going to repeat that until we have six layers. It's really simple. Once you have your six layers, I like to brush my top layer with a little butter. It might not be traditional, and I'm sure that some of the, some of the people who have made baklava before are going, oh, that's terrible, you shouldn't do that. Then because I'm crazy, I'm going to take a cup, sprinkle it down in, and then we're going to repeat. My neighbor gave me a cheating way of doing this, and she said she did this, and this is what her mother did. We take the sheet, we lay it down, brush it with the butter, then, this is where she said she cheated, fold it over, then we start the next sheet where the previous sheet ended, and we can brush that with butter. Kind of clever there, to which I said, wow, that's really cool. Fold it over. Our final thing of nuts, spread that around. Once everything's all assembled, we're going to cut diagonally across the pan and to make our serving sizes. Use a really, really sharp knife. Once everything is cut, we're going to bake it for 35 to 40 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. While our baklava is baking, what we're going to do is we're going to make our sauce that actually goes over it. And this is also really easy. We're going to start off with three tablespoons of butter and one stick of cinnamon. If you don't have cinnamon, that's okay. You don't have to have it. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, also a quarter of a cup of sugar, a quarter of a cup of water, and then one cup of honey. We're going to bring that to a boil, boil it for one minute, and then simmer it covered for five minutes. And then we'll come all back together once everything is all baked. All right, now the easy part. We have our syrup, and these are still nice and warm, and they're golden brown. We're going to pour our syrup right over top. Now what I want you to do is let this sit. Overnight would be best. The longer, the better. And then when you get it done, take a look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Don't they look delicious? I love baklava, and I always thought it was one of those things that was just impossible to make. But now with this recipe, I know I can make baklava probably a lot more than what I need to. And that's going to be wonderful. If this is your first time to see M. Coleman Home, I hope you subscribe and like and share this on social media. Every Tuesday and Thursday I have a recipe on Friday, I'll give you tips on how to help keep your home, and then on Saturday you'll wake up in the morning to a recipe for a sweet treat. 
If you like this, give me a comment in the comments below. You can also share with me your ideas or show me what you made because I'd love to see that. Don't forget to come back and see what the next thing it is that we make. Because keeping your home should not be a full-time job. It should be more like a hobby.